I'd like to introduce you to the next generation self-service tool from Thinkware, DNet. This is the tool that your clients and your managers will use to log in and submit payroll, onboarding, benefits, enrollment, view paycheck stubs, submit PTA requests, all the different types of things you'd expect a client and employee to be able to do. Further, I want to show you the fact that since we are collecting all this data about your clients and employees, we'll allow them to use it for other tools such as insight analysis, business intelligence, push business intelligence for custom alerts, et cetera. So let's take a look at this. So let me show you first the login screen right here. And so, of course, this will be logoed as either yours or your customers. And we have one single point of login for the system. And basically what I mean by that is, based upon the user ID and password that's put in this single point of login, it will know if this user is a manager, a worksite employee, the owner of the company, or somebody internal to your PEO ASO organization. And it'll take them to the appropriate dashboard of information. So say, for example, this fictional James person right here, the manager of one of your customers. When this James guy logs into the system, he is presented with a dashboard of information that's appropriate to him, to whatever his role in the company is. And so immediately at the top, he gets various information. You know, he's involved in payroll, so he's the person that approves current payrolls that are being run. He can even compare it to the most recent payroll that was run, see it's a little bit different, so he might want to dive in to see why. He wears an HR hat, so he goes in and, and views PTO requests and approve those, and these items are all click-throughs. And he has reminders here. Like I said, he's involved in HR, so he's the person that actually signs off on the manager side of I9s. So he's getting reminders of how to do those things. Then down here is some of the business intelligence that's available to him. So you know, he can see quickly items without having to grind through a bunch of reports. You know, if he wants to know how much overtime have we paid recently, or how many new hires have we had in the, since the last payroll or month to date or year to date, those types of things are all right there. And it's operational too. First of all, it's drag and drop. He can add and remove items as he wants to. And he can do things such as, if he needs to submit a timesheet, he can click on view schedule, actually it'll give him the schedule timesheet and you can go to the most recent timesheet in the system and actually click create timesheet right here. So we can do all those things on the fly within the system itself. And then back to the dashboard, like I said, you can add and remove items, things like that. And we have a logical menu structure over here on the left hand side. It can expand and collapse depending upon whether or not he's using a mobile device. The website is responsive. So if he is on a mobile device, it will still render in a very nice, correct format. And over here, he can do things such as the common tasks you expect him to be able to do on an HRIS system. You know, the electronic onboarding of an employee, either adding an employee on the fly or having it come in from our applicant tracking system. Being able to see at any time exactly where any employee is in the process. So simply by opening this up, I can see where the employee has, has completed, where the manager has completed, and what still needs to be done in the onboarding process. Very similar for benefits enrollment. So if I go to the benefits side, I can come into the open enrollment monitor, and I can actually see what employees need to go through open enrollment, whether they've started the process. And in fact, if an employee is struggling with on the employer portal with how to do the, the benefits enrollment, because they don't understand benefits very well, I, as a manager, can actually log in and assist them. I can have, have this employee, Beth Lee, sit down next to me at the desk, or maybe I print out the documents for her, and I can come in and say, I'll help you with this, and walk, walk Beth Lee, in this case, through the open enrollment process, discussing what plans she's eligible for, and making sure she understands the plans. And as she's looking at different plans, whenever she chooses a different level plan, it will automatically adjust the dollar amounts per month per paycheck, and how much the employer is contributing. And in fact, we can drive down to the details of the plan, even sending an employee to a third-party provider website, or giving them the statement of benefits related to that particular plan. Now, lots of reasons why managers sign into the system, submitting payroll, onboarding, benefits enrollment, and things like that. But one of the most common things is they need to look up an employee. So the employee file is always available here. 
simply by choosing this box, I can scroll through any employee, or simply like you're doing, Googling something with a search, you know, I can type in part of an employee name and bring up that employee file on the fly. All the setup information of the employee is here, detailed summary information such as a total compensation graph is here, you know, where I can actually see across the lifespan of this employee, the true value of this, this employee's um, employment, as a matter of fact. So not only do I know she makes $60,000 a year, when I take into consideration all the things that are being paid on her behalf, such as $1,500 in VERA 401k, her total compensation is $78,000. And of course, when the employee logs into the employee side of the system, they can see the same information. All documents related to this employee will be stored here in one central spot. And in fact, if I go to a specific record, such as this employee's license, one of her licenses, a J-1 visa in this case, I can actually see the source documents here in addition. So I can see the actual document associated with it. In addition to that, in the library section, I can see the documents across all my employees. So if I go to the onboarding section, I can say, okay, show me every I-9 that's ever come in. And if I wanna see Janice Turner's I-9, she just signed in July of 2017, I can see that information right here. Now you're not just limited to the information within the system having to log in, but any of these items that are date-driven, such as the licenses and certifications, trainings, reviews, pay raises, all those different types of things, we can have push alerts too. So what I mean by that is, I can flip over to my Outlook here, here's some examples of those types of things. Highlighted here, I have the fact that this employee, Lola, she had a, an inspector license expire. So the, um, an email went out to her manager and her saying your license is expire in the next 30 days or so. And it can be any type of touch point from an HR perspective, whether it's a training, a review, a benefit alert, or even just a confirmation back to the client when something happens. The client might have called somebody in your office and said terminate this employee, or well, they did it themselves on the web. They'll get a confirmation back saying, hey, we're working on this. We we'll make sure that the information we've recorded is correct. And then finally, one last thing kind of from the manager perspective. We also down here provide our insight dashboards. We're collecting all this data about your customers. Let them use it however they want. They can download it to Excel on demand, those types of things. We can also present it in a dashboard format. You know, if you have any customers that maybe have a, have a seasonality component to their business and they want to know across any date range, do I ever have spikes in gross wages or total burden? or total number of employees. I can see this information graphically, and so I can see point in time I had six employees in June and 21 employees in December. I can see the actual numbers that make up this graph. And then I have other sub-detail graphs where I can do things to see how much overtime have I paid, kind of overview summary of my company, you know, where I can come in and see based upon whatever criteria I've decided to show here, how much wages have I paid per department? I started with six employees, added 29, terminated seven, I have 28 employees in this time frame range. We want your customer to be able to think of this site as much more than just a site where we do onboarding, payroll, benefit enrollment. It's an area they can do analysis and track all the different items about their employees. And then speaking about employees, there's also an employee portal. So in this scenario, James, he's a manager at this client. He's also an employee. So when he wants to take off his manager hat and put on his employee hat, he can just simply flip over to his employee record right here. And it'll be a lot of the same type of information that, that we've seen before, but just focused on the employee. Once again, TV's logging in on his phone. It's a very responsive website. Front and center are things like his paychecks and his PTO requests, things employees really care about. It's drag and drop, so if he wanted his contact list to be up top, he can do those types of things. And then you can see detailed items over here, such as the ability to drill into his W-2s or his own personal total compensation, just like we saw at the manager level. Thank you for taking the time to take a look at this brief overview of DNET.